Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you the new Windows 11, the easiest to use, fastest and most efficient version of Windows so far. We've been waiting for this for almost 3 years so let's get started. So first of all, they changed the logo again. So now instead of a rectangular tilted Windows icon, it is now more of a straight square Windows icon. Next, not only did they change the taskbar so that it can be aligned left, center or right, they also changed the start menu so that you can have all of your favorite apps, documents and your Microsoft account all in one place. They also added more of an Apple feel to it so it's more clean, more smooth and more efficient. The settings app is also much more useful as it has the more commonly used on the front and has multiple menus for easier search and selection. They even added themes to Windows, changing the look and feel of Windows itself. They also added more settings and templates for snapping apps, making multitasking more easier and more productive. They also integrated Microsoft Teams into Windows, making it easier for video calls and quick messaging. And one of the largest features, widgets and personalized feeds. They even added a new way to switch between tasks, adding presets for apps. And of course, it provides the ultimate gaming experience. Supported by DirectX 12 Ultimate Auto HDR and it provides the best performance for the Xbox Game Pass. The updated Microsoft Store now houses Android apps, making the store actually useful. It's compatible with any and all PC devices reaching the minimum system requirements and all of your favorite brands. So here are the official system requirements. So it's 1 GHz with 2 or more cores, it's a 64-bit processor, it's 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage at least, and it's DirectX 12 uh, graphics. And these are all really common, but if you just want to be sure, you can download this compatibility app to check if your PC is compatible with Windows 11. This link will be in the description, and it has a lot of main features and a lot of other things about Windows 11. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the video. The official release date is unknown, but it's expected to be within the next few months. And the link to the official video and to the Windows 11 page will be in the description. If you think this video added value, please share it with others. If you have any queries or want to add something, please put it in the comments. Please like and subscribe as it really helps me out and I'll see you next time. Bye!